All praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wara Kakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. On down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth. No matter where, whom they may be or what they may look like. Pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets. You women, sons and daughters also. The water to Yahweh Shai. Because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone. None of this would even be possible whatsoever. Let's touch on the book of Job. Chapter 12 and verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is very, very strong. The strongest of all strong. The wisest of all wise. And not only does he control those who are teaching and preaching the truth, he also controls they who are deceived and the deceiver who deceive them. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai controls everything. Every single thing that has happened, every single thing that will happen, you know, things that have not yet come to pass, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is doing it. Okay? He controls the righteous and he controls the wicked. He controls they who keep the truth and they who hold on to lies. Everything is of Yahweh. While Yahweh Shai With him is strength and wisdom The deceived And the deceiver Are his So everything Is of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai Everything Belongs to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai Coming into this ministry Having this truth The reason why You're able to receive it The reason why you've been enduring all the way up until this point is because Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai is allowing that to happen. Okay? When someone's rich, they have the mentality of wanting to be super rich. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai puts that spirit on them and he sets it up where they may have certain connects or come across the right people at the right time. However, it goes. Okay, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai has everything, and I mean everything, under his control. And that includes the deceived and the deceiver. Let's touch on Job 23 and verse 9. On the left hand where he doth work, but I cannot behold him, he hideth himself. On the right hand that I cannot see him. So Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, he controls the left and he controls the right hand. He controls both sides. Okay? When you have this understanding, okay, you can see that no matter what's happening before you, what's happening in your life, what's happening in someone else's life, it's not by accident, it's not by mistake. Everything is the Lord's will. The left hand and the right hand. The left hand being the deceived and the deceiver. The right hand being us within this knowledge. Those of us who are standing up for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The Lord is controlling both sides. On the left hand where he doth work, but I cannot behold him, he hideth himself on the right hand that I cannot see him. But he knoweth the way that I take. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. And that's what we're going through right now. We're being tried as gold in the fire. 
And the Lord already knows whether or not you'll endure. Because this story that we are in is a story that is being told, narrated, being driven by the Heavenly Father through His Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Let's move forward to Ezekiel. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18. In verse 4, Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. So we all belong to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. So in reality, when you hear about people saying this celebrity or that celebrity sold their soul, you can't sell your soul because all souls belong to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Everything belongs to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? To sell your soul, you're really just um, going against the morality of the scriptures things that are worthy of death Esau tries to have you do like human sacrifice that's a sin punishable by death adultery that's a sin punishable by death okay being a sodomite that's a sin punishable by death being an idolater serving other gods that's a sin punishable by death so to sell your soul to the devil, Esau likes to use sins punishable by death and see if you're willing to either serve the Lord and not do those things or sell out for the bag like Judas. Okay? Behold, all souls are mine as the soul of the Father. So also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. So the Lord, seeing that he's in control of everything, he also chooses who lives and he dies. If he gives an Israelite over to be wicked, to just be totally bugged out, to be completely lost in sin, that's his will. And he's going to kill them because that's his will. If you've been called into this truth and the Lord allows you to stay in and you endure and you be saved you get delivered that is what the lord wanted nothing is against yahweh basham yahweh shai also all souls belong to the lord and knowing that that should also help you in your day-to-day -day life whatever situation you're going through whether it's uncomfortable whether it's comfortable guess what it's the lord's will if it wasn't the lord's will it wouldn't be so okay Let's go to the Apocrypha. And we're going to touch on Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 15 and verse 16. For man made them, and he that borrowed his own spirit fashioned them. But no man can make a God like unto himself. So the point being, our spirit is borrowed. We do not own ourselves. We don't control anything. And men have, you know, a very, very arrogant mentality because many people, they'll plan ahead a whole two, three, four, five, six years. And they don't even know if they'll make it through the rest of that, that day or that night. No man or woman, okay, no male or female, I should say, knows when their soul will be required. No male or female knows whether or not they shall taste of death or they won't. We don't know that. Everything is Lord's will. But seeing that our spirit is borrowed, whether we are in the truth, whether we're not, whether we are obedient or disobedient, whether we're a heathen or an Israelite, everything is of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Okay? For man made them and he that borrowed his own spirit fashioned them. But no man can make a God like unto himself. So going into our people being into idol worship, it's funny how our people will 
create all sorts of different idols that can't save them. They can't breathe. They can't talk. They don't have any life. They can't even make an idol greater than themselves, but yet they'll serve it. You have Israelites who will serve money, but you can't have your money talk to you. You can't ask your money for answers. You can't ask your money for immortality. You can't ask your money to forgive your sins. And a lot of our people make money ain't idol. Okay? There are many idols. Idols come in many different forms. But either way it goes, an idol can't even come close to being as great as the person who fashioned it. The person who made the idol is greater than the idol itself. But yet people will bow down and serve an idol. Or serve an idol based off of deed. Okay? But our spirit is borrowed from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's why the Lord requires us to be obedient unto him. Okay? But seeing everything is his will, that should scare you and put you in a uh, sober mind. Because, yeah, as much as we may have our mind on something or we have hopes, if it ain't the Lord's will, it ain't happening. James 4 and 15. For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. So it's the Lord's will, whether we live or die, today, tomorrow, next year, whether we live to see our deliverance of being beamed up in the chariots. Okay? It's up to the Lord's will what happens in our day. It's up to the Lord's will if we do this or we do that. Everything is of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, the Lord is truly under control. The Lord truly controls everything. And that's something people have to understand. The Lord is not limited in his works. If the Lord only allowed good things to happen, that would make him limited. If the Lord had a rival by the name of Satan... And Satan had opportunity to do all the rebellion he wanted. And the Heavenly Father just had to sit back and watch it. Come on. How would that make him omnipotent? How would that make him the Almighty? He's the Almighty. He controls both sides. He's everywhere at the same time, man. He knows of things that exist and things that don't exist. All at the same time. He knows a person's. Uh, lifespan, how many hairs are on his or her head, how many grains of sand are on the earth, okay, how many gallons of water are in the depths of the sea, how many, um, you know, he, he knows everything, and everything is his will. Nothing on earth happens unless the Lord gives the okay. So let's close it with this. I just want to bring out some scriptures, man, and get to the point, close it up, you know. Isaiah 40 and 28. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting power, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. And a lot of people just don't understand that the Lord controls everything. Everything is of his will. And that will confuse certain people because they'll say well if he controls everything why is he allowing this to happen why is he doing that because that's what he wants to do and everything is answered everything is given to us okay why are the negroes latinos and native americans at the bottom of society the lord already explained it okay and he's using his prophets to bring that out okay why do certain people um, come into the world with certain ailments rather they come into the world blind they come into the world they can't hear they come into the world missing limbs deformed why do these things happen all of these things are in the bible okay it's because everything is of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai his thoughts are deep like that he does what he wants to do and there may be times us in this truth being his servants something may happen 
and it may be bitter towards you. It may offend you. Okay, and you may, you know, ponder on why. Why why would the Lord want this to happen? It doesn't take away it's his will, and there's there's a purpose behind his will, and nothing that he does is by mistake. The power that we serve has everything on lock, man. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and um wrap it up there. You know, his his understanding is very deep. And the fact that we have some of his secrets, that's deep on its own. All thanks and praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wa Shalom. Until next time.